My name is Mark Gans. I'm here as a son, a brother, and a father, and for the last time as a CEO. During my career, I have acted from a place of deep and abiding hope that the healthcare system can and will change. So what can we do? Let me suppose some questions that I think you might consider asking yourself. Number one, can we have a system that consistently and systemically focuses not just on the disease, but on the family and healing instead of just a cure? Can we have a system where healthcare providers can be their true selves in service to others? Can we have a system where mental and physical health are respected and honored as equal in the pursuit of healing a person? Can we have a system that's truly more socially just? For example, one that brings the actual cost of care, drugs and interventions out of the stratosphere and naturally drives a cost that is understandable and accountable and affordable to individuals so that no person, regardless of race or economic status is left behind or treated inequitably. To me, the answer to all of those questions is a resounding yes. I hope it is for you too. We're all here because we are interested in ensuring that lives end well and that living a life where you feel it is well lived until the very last day. Like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, our most recent example of a person who lived fiercely every day of her life and lived fully until she took her last breath. I'm ending my career at Cambia and I hope that I'm ending it well, but I'm not by any means ending my hope, desire or focus on transforming healthcare to make it truly family focused economically, socially and medically. We all deserve a system that we're not just tolerating. Let's resolve as we accelerate out of this curve called 2020, that we take some of the difficult things we've seen and talked about, and we turn it into a thing of light. We have the opportunity to invent the systems that allow us to truly see the patients and their loved ones, to see healing in a new way. And each of us has a role to play in driving that. If you're a provider not trained in palliative care, please get some training in it and bring it into your work every single day with every single patient. Get to know your patients as people. Get to know their families. You are a healer first and foremost, so be one. If you're a patient, please insist that your healthcare professional fully sees you. Redefine the phrase, the doctor will see you now. Make sure they actually see you in your fullness. If you are injured or diagnosed with a disease, chronic or acute, insist that the medical treatment include your body, your mind, and your spirit from the moment of your diagnosis of a serious illness or injury. This is the care that will center on what's most important to you. If you're a family caregiver, do what you need to do to ensure you and your loved ones receive a healing always even when a cure is not achievable. If you're an executive or a funder, look to and invest in solutions that focus on healing individuals and their families, not just achieving a cure. And do so not with just a focus on return on investment, but also that all important focus of a return on humanity and if you're a leader, check your own hope meter. The people you lead need to be infused with hope. And you are the one to give them that hope and sustain it during sometimes very difficult moments. All of us here care, but we need to do more than care. We need to not just preach to our own choirs we need to act and act now.
This is one of the reasons I so respect and admire the founder of this feast. Shoshara, she's a doer. <laughs> she works every day to normalize and create a grace around the end of life. We need to become effective doers right here, right now, with an attitude and urgency of not one more day, not one more person or family being reduced to being merely a vessel of disease. Let's be focused. Let's keep it real. And let's work together to get this done once and for all with a fierceness of heart hope, and courage. <laughs>